I faked a surrogate pregnancy for the money. The plan was to take the deposit. It was non-refundable, no one was gonna get hurt, and that was gonna be the end of it. I never intended on getting pregnant. I separated my feelings from it. I didn't consider anybody else in this situation. I found Shania Peter on one of the surrogacy websites. Shania was very trusting. She didn't ask a lot of questions about my medical history. We had agreed on a $10,000 arrangement with a $2,500 deposit. They would pay me $833 every month. I sent pictures of my kids and pretended that that was a previous surrogacy that I had done. I made arrangements with Shania and Peter to meet them in Portland, Oregon. I downloaded a sample surrogacy contract and we signed the contract. It brought Peter's specimen to the hotel room for me to get pregnant. I had no intentions of using it. I was in a hurry to leave to catch my flights for family vacation in Washington, D.C. So I threw the Peter's specimen in the garbage. The plan was to call them in two to three weeks and tell them that I took a pregnancy test and it did not work. When I was on vacation, the whole deposit was spent. I'd run out of money at that point. At the time, I really needed the money, so I decided to tell them that I did get pregnant for a month or two, and then to tell them that I miscarried. Shania was asking if she could come down and do an ultrasound with me. I kept putting it off. I kept telling Shania that I was too busy. I was planning on telling Shania and Peter that I had miscarried around the fourth or fifth month. I was so disconnected at that point that I really didn't think I was doing anything wrong. It was extremely difficult to keep the lies going. It spiraled out of control. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Audrey to come out because I think you, you, you're entitled to say what you want to say to her. Fair enough? Yes. All right, Audrey, come on out. Audrey, Dr. Phil, how are you? Good. Have a seat right here if you would. Uh, I believe you know these folks. Yeah. What'd you want to say? Well, you lying bitch. How could you do that? You destroyed our lives. I am sorry for what I've done. I'm taking responsibility. What I want to know, Audrey, is how long you were going to carry this out. I had when no... You were in your fifth month. I had no intentions of carrying it on that long. We were going to have a baby shower. We asked you if everything was okay. We sent out the invitations. You said it was okay to send out the invitations. My yeah. life at that time was very different. You guys have no idea what was going on in my life, and I'm sorry. No, you've never told us. You've never given us any answers as to why you did what you did to us. Because I wasn't allowed to contact you guys. By who? The court told me I was not allowed to speak to you guys. You were supposed to send us an I apology you, I letter. I wrote a five-page apology letter and gave it to the probation officer to send to you. Well, he didn't send, send it, it to me. I did. I swear I wrote it. I tried to reach out to you. I asked them to contact you and ask if I could talk to you. And they kept telling me no. I wanted to apologize. I wanted to tell you where I was at and why I did what I did, because I am sorry. No. I truly I, am. I can't believe you. you. You know, you're on the internet. You're... I think you're still scamming people. Well, Audrey, um, I think you're still you lying bitch. Did you, you... You have children, right? Yes. Okay, so you're dealing here w with a couple, with a woman that has said to you, this is our miracle baby. We can't have a child. This is our last chance. This is, this is it for us. We've been scammed. Don't hurt us. So she's waving these flags in your face, and you're saying, come on, come on. God bless you. God bless you. Come on down. Give me your money. Yeah. I what were not, you thinking? I, number one, I wasn't the only one involved in it. And I was broken at the time. I was um, taking a lot of pills. I didn't know what to do. Who else was involved? I can't say. Yeah. But I was not the only one involved yeah, at I all. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I was so broken. And that excuse? I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm just telling you that that's what I was going through. Could care less what she was, I was going trying through. To